A very good evening kids. In today's class, we'll be talking about covalent bonds and this is my second class of the topic. The examples that I'll be doing in this class are heteronuclear molecules. What do I mean by heteronuclear molecules? The molecules in which you have atoms of different types, not of the same types as I did in my part one of covalent bonds. The first example that I am taking is hydrogen and chlorine. That is an HCl molecule. Now, first of all, you need to write the Lewis dot structures for the same. Hydrogen has just one electron in its outermost shell. While when we talk about chlorine, the atomic number of chlorine is 17. Let me divide it into the electronic configuration. For 17 electrons of chlorine, K, L and M shell, 2 in the first shell, 8 in the second makes it 10, you are left with 7, that's your valence electrons. So I am writing the valence electrons of chlorine as 7 electrons, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Now why did I write 1 here? That was deliberate because hydrogen is capable of only sharing 1 electron. So chlorine can also share only 1 electron because covalent bonds have to have an equal Mutual sharing of valence electrons. That's the key. So, I deliberately wrote one electron on this side so that one electron of hydrogen and one electron of chlorine can be shared. Hydrogen just requires one because it has only one electron in its first shell and the maximum capacity of the first shell is two. So, for hydrogen, we don't use the octet rule. We talk about the duplet rule. That is, it has to satisfy its two electrons. Now, what does hydrogen do in this case? In this case, you would have hydrogen sharing this electron. So, its duplet is complete. Whereas, chlorine requires one more to make it an octet. So, chlorine also shares this electron. This is just one pair of electron. So, we write it as H-Cl. This represents a single bond pair. In chlorine, you have one bond pair and there are three lone pairs. One, two and three. Whereas hydrogen has just a single bond pair. There is no non-bonded electron pair. So it does not have any lone pair in it. Let's move to the second example. The second example that I am taking is the methane gas. The formula of methane is CH4. The atom which is single is also called as the central atom. There is one carbon and there are four hydrogens. Now before you take a decision, please give it a thought. Carbon and hydrogen both are non-metals and between non-metals you always have sharing of electrons. In case of carbon, the valence electrons is equal to four. So it requires four more electrons. In case of hydrogen, the valence electron is equal to 1 and hydrogen requires just 1 electron while carbon requires 4. Now, since carbon requires 4 and there are 4 hydrogens, so carbon is in a position to share 1 electron with each of the fluorine, hydrogen atoms. Sorry, And each of the hydrogen atoms will share 1 electron with the carbon. Hence, your carbon will be able to achieve its octet. Therefore, you will write carbon in the center and the four hydrogens around it. I have deliberately done it. Carbon has got four electrons in its outermost shell. So that's how I've written it. Each hydrogen has got just one electron. This blue dot refers to the valence electron of hydrogen. Green cross refers to the valence electron of carbon. Now, this hydrogen needs one. That's done. This hydrogen is satisfied. This hydrogen also shares one electron with carbon. This hydrogen also shares one electron with carbon. This hydrogen also shares one electron with carbon. Now as far as hydrogen is concerned, hydrogen ka kaam khatam. Each hydrogen has got its duplet complete. Now about carbon. Carbon requires four electrons. Four it has its own and four more. And for this, that four more, it would take the four electrons, one each from the hydrogens. So for your carbon... This is the shell. Now, to write it down, one carbon, one hydrogen, one hydrogen this side, one hydrogen this side, one hydrogen this side. 
because each shared pair is represented with a hyphen. This is the structure of methane where your carbon atom has four bond pairs and there is no lone pair while your hydrogen also has one bond pair and there is no lone pair. Done. This was the structure for methane. Moving to the third example of the class is ammonia. What is the formula of ammonia? NH3. What are the two atoms? Nitrogen and hydrogen. Talking about the electronic configuration of nitrogen. Nitrogen has seven electrons in its, its total capacity. Out of these seven electrons, if we satisfy it, you get the electronic configuration as two and five. Therefore, for nitrogen, the Lewis dot structure becomes like this. Five electrons around it. Talking about hydrogen, hydrogen has an atomic number of one, so it has just one electron in its first shell. So for hydrogen, the Lewis dot structure I'll be representing like this. Now before you actually come to the chemical bonding in such compounds, give it a check. Nitrogen and hydrogen both are non-metals. Both are requiring electrons and there's no such market providing you with electrons. So they have to come to a mutual understanding, a mutual sharing of electrons by which they are able to satisfy each other. Your nitrogen requires three electrons while each of the hydrogen has just one electron. Therefore, nitrogen will have to share electrons with all the three hydrogens so that it can get one electron from each of the hydrogens. Hence, your nitrogen will now have its octet complete. Whereas hydrogen just requires one. So each of the three hydrogens will share their one electron with nitrogen. So to draw the structure, I write the nitrogen in the center. I am deliberately writing three electrons like this because I know these three are to be shared with hydrogen atoms. Three, I am left with two more which I mentioned like this. Coming to the hydrogens, this is the first hydrogen with its electron, second hydrogen with its electron, third hydrogen with its electron. Now, drawing the shells, your hydrogen gets satisfied, this hydrogen also satisfied, this hydrogen also satisfied. As far as the three hydrogens are concerned, they have got their duplet complete. While nitrogen has five electrons of its own and three it can share with these three. Because nitrogen has already shared one electron, it can share the valence electron of this hydrogen as well as this hydrogen as well as this hydrogen to make it octet complete. Drawing this structure, you have nitrogen in the center. There are three hydrogens around it, H, H and H and there is one electron pair which is your lone pair. So your nitrogen in this case has three single covalent bonds and one lone pair. That is the structure of ammonia. Moving to the next example which is water. What's the formula for water? H2O. What are the two atoms? Hydrogen and oxygen. Let's write their atomic numbers 8 and 1. Let's write their electronic configuration. Hydrogen you have just one valence electron whereas in case of oxygen you have two and then six valence electrons. So if I want the Lewis dot structure of hydrogen would be like this. And the Lewis dot structure of oxygen would have six electrons around it. Done? Now let's think before we draw the structure. You have just one oxygen and you have two hydrogens. So my advice is that the atom which is single should be written in the center. And you can place the two hydrogens symmetrically around it. Let's draw their electrons. Hydrogen has just one electron which is this. Hydrogen has just one electron which is this. Whereas if I talk about oxygen... Oxygen has six electrons and it requires how many? It needs two more. And these two more electrons will be given by the two hydrogen atoms. So, since you have to have only equal mutual sharing, you will write one electron towards this hydrogen, one electron towards this hydrogen which is available for sharing. While how many electrons are left on oxygen? Out of six, you have written two. You are still left with four. So, I write two here and two here. This is I how you deliberately write down the electrons around oxygen for easier diagrammatic skills. 
your hydrogen shares this electron is satisfied hydrogen shares this electron is satisfied you are left with oxygen oxygen has got six of its own one it would take from this hydrogen one from here and that is how the shell of oxygen will get its octet drawing the structure to draw the structure of water it would be oxygen with one hydrogen here one hydrogen here and it has two electrons like this four electrons like this which are not used so it has in this molecule you have two single covalent bonds and there are two lone pairs the non bonded shared pair of electron so for oxygen when we talk about it it has got two bond pairs and it has got two lone pairs this information is not required for class 10th this information you would require in class 11th the chapter is chemical bonding as of now for class 10 only the diagram electric illustration for the covalent bonding is required done with this we can end the class for covalent bonding and we've done all the examples that are needed in class 10th rest of them you can try at your own level please share the video if you like it thanks kids bless you